How's it going, everybody? This is the Jose Show. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. And I hope everyone um, is, you know, doing the same old, same old, you know, because every day it's the same routine, you know, going to work, going to school. It's, it's it, Life never ends when it comes to that kind of stuff. I know. I understand. Uh, so, anyway, there is a lot to talk about today, especially from last night's AMAs. Oh, yes. Taylor Swift took four awards last night, which actually made her the most awarded woman in the show's history. Now, Taylor Swift has 22 total awards out of the American Music Awards after winning four additional awards last night for her favorite pop slash rock album, Artist of the Year, um, favorite album, pop slash rock, and favorite tour. Congratulations to Taylor Swift for now being the most awarded woman in the American Music Awards history. Beating out Whitney Houston, which Whitney Houston had 21 awards. Now, Taylor Swift also got to slay last night with her performance, which, by the way, she got to open the show, with uh, w uh, with her latest single, I Did Something Bad. There was a snake in the performance. It wasn't an actual snake, but it was like a statue of a snake popping up in the performance. Taylor Swift, her vocals, of course, killed it with the song. Um, she looked phenomenal with her outfit, um, that, by the way, um, killed the performance, in, in a good way. And, it was definitely the kind of opening show that was meant to be, that, that was actually, um, waking up the whole entire, entire audience, that, that really um, attracted the whole audience and made the whole audience really um, be in and happy and be be happy and be um, proud of. Especially because this is Taylor's first performance in three years. Well, at least for the American Music Awards, it is. And everybody was just happy to see her do her comeback and performing into the award show three years later. Um, so, yeah, she slayed it. And then another thing that happened last night, and yes, it also has to do with Taylor Swift, was when Taylor Swift um, got to encourage all of her fans to go out and vote for the midterm elections, which are on November 6th. Um, right after she accepted her Artist of the Year award. And that right there was actually pretty cool and it was actually pretty encouraging because first of all her post that she posted on Instagram where she said, where she told her fans to vote definitely encouraged a lot of her fans to go out and vote because I heard that over 65,000 of her fans in Less than 24 hours, they went out and voted because of the post that Taylor um, um, has on her Instagram where she was telling all of her fans to go out and vote. Wow, well, I was like, damn, Taylor Swift is so good at this. This is actually the kind of people that we need um, in order to tell everyone to vote. Because if it was just a, a regular person, or, you know, a person that isn't really all that famous, then people wouldn't even care. But I'm glad Taylor Swift not only has the power to release music and to encourage people to buy her music, but also to encourage people to do the important thing, which was to go out and vote. Um, so thank you, Taylor. I think you're helping America here. I really think you are. And with this, this, um, um, speech that she had last night and a telling people to go out and vote, I think she's helping even more. So I think 
Taylor is really helping a lot. Not just with her music, but also politically. That is actually a great thing to hear. Now, another thing that went on at the American Music Awards last night was that Camila Cabello, she won um, the award for her favorite song, Pop Slash Rock, um, for her song Havana, featuring Young Thug. And she was, of course, happy and... Um, I, I believe it was also her first award, actually, um, of her solo career from um, the American Music Awards. It was her first award. And then afterwards, she won the award for Favorite New Artist, um, which, by the way, wasn't even a shocker, because, I mean, Camila Cabello, she's doing excellent right now with, with her music. And, um, then Post Malone got to win the award for, um, favorite, um, male artist pop slash rock, and then, uh, Migos got to win the award for favorite group pop slash rock, and then, um, and then Mariah Carey, there's an another thing that I wanted to tell you guys was that Mariah Carey performed her latest single, which is the lead single to her upcoming album, With You. She looked gorgeous with that dress, by the way, that she got to perform with, and the performance I loved, that was actually one of my favorite performances of the night, With You. Um, it was pretty emotional, really, in my point of view. Not just because of the song, but also because because, I mean, the dress just made it more emotional, but in a good way. Because, I mean, she did look really nice with the dress. And then, and then, um, of course, it was like her first performance in years. You know, in general, it was her first performance in years. So, it, it, it it's actually pretty nice to see Mariah um, get back out there on the stage and to, for her to perform her new music. I mean, besides, besides the New Year's um, performances that she's had, besides that, it, this performance that she had at the American Music Awards last night was like, technically, her first performance in years. So I am happy to see Mariah back on stage and and, of course, back to hear new tunes from her. And then another artist that we saw on stage last night was Cardi B, which, by the way, she also won a few awards last night. She won, um, favorite, um, rap artist. Fav favorite hip-hop artist. Um, so, yeah, she... She, um, got to perform her latest single, I Like It, with, um, J Balvin, J Balvin and Bad Bunny. Um, with a floral, uh, dress, um, which actually looked pretty nice on her. It definitely fit the song, because the song was pretty, um, it was kind of a reg- it's- the song is pretty- pretty much of a reggae kind of song. It's pretty upbeat. And there was a lot of dancers in the in, on stage, and and it it, it definitely had the, the 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 whole crowd moving. Like even before Cardi B even went out there, even um you know on stage to perform the song, people were already standing because people were expecting something huge from Cardi B, and it, the performance ended up being something huge. So. So, yeah, Cardi B, she was also one of the performers that slayed it last night at the AMAs. And then another thing that I would love to mention is, um, um, Khalid also went to perform last night alongside Halsey. 
um, with um, their new single that they just released um, not so long ago. And then um, Jennifer Lopez, she also got to perform last night. Um, she got to perform a song called Limitless. Um, so that was also pretty intense. Um, so yeah, a lot of huge things went on last night at the AMAs. For those of you that missed it, I am pretty sure the AMAs won't betray you. I'm pretty sure they're going to be posting videos on YouTube for you guys to watch. But the AMAs were phenomenal last night. They were great. They were not the kind of... It was not the kind of award show to miss. Especially because Taylor Swift made history last night. So, that was one of the best moments of the night. Yes, yes, and yes. Well, now moving on from the AMAs to um, Katy Perry. Um, Katy Perry just um, confirmed on social media a few days ago that she is taking a break from music after being um, uh, a huge artist and after releasing music throughout the past 10 years. Now, I understand artists are human beings. They need a break. They need time for themselves. And Katy Perry, she is literally one of the biggest pop stars today. She has given us a lot of music, a lot of huge hits, a lot of albums. Um, and a lot of touring. Do, let's not forget the touring. And all of that combined is just a, a lot. You know, I, I could even, I am even amazed that Taylor, I mean, that Katy Perry had the time of the world to do all of this. Like, all of these huge things, especially a huge tour that literally, um, um, was around, a huge tour that literally covered the whole entire world like she had to tour throughout the whole entire world which took her which by the way this last tour that she got to do was like over a year it took her it was like over a year so yeah it, it it's pretty insane to know that um Katy Perry has been working her butt off so much um and it wasn't just her last tour that got to last to up to over a year even her prison tour got to last to up to over a year so she's been working very hard um i am even surprised myself that katie perry did not take a break until now and then she still got to be um, judge in the revival of American Idol alongside um, Ryan Seacrest um, and then what was that other artist's name? Oh, he's like he's black um, he has an afro sort of um Man, I forgot his name, but I'll tell you guys once I remember. But yeah, he, he got to um, judge um, alongside him, and and he got to judge alongside um, Man, I forgot the other judges that he got to judge alongside. Man. But anyway. Sorry, guys. But anyway, she my memory y'all it's just bad anyway but anyway yeah she has been working very hard and um Katy Perry whenever you're ready to release music just tell us 
But for now, girl, just take a break. You deserve it. End of story. Now on to the next topic. <sighs> so now let's talk about a Twitter rant that went on yesterday between Lana Del Rey and Azalea Banks. Well, they've been going through this Twitter rant and Twitter feud um, throughout the past month now. It's it's crazy. Um, well, Lana Del Rey didn't start the feud. It was actually Azalea that initiated the whole entire thing. Azalea said that she no longer... That she just... She technically called Lana Del Rey a lot of mean things. Let's just say it to that. I don't want to go down, down, down deep because, I mean, first of all, this is live television. This is a talk show and all. And then Lana Del Rey went on back to um, Azalea and then Azalea back to Lana. But I can tell you that one of the tweets contained um, something about Kanye West. Azalea Banks was all like, ooh, Kanye West, he wants me out in Chicago, and me and him are technically going to collaborate. She didn't exactly say that, but she hinted by saying that Kanye wanted her all the way in Chicago, and that they were going to work on something on Twitter. So basically, that kind of hints us that her and Azalea, they're going to that him, that Kanye, and, Kanye and Azalea are going to be collaborating. Now, another tweet that I knew was that um, Azalea Banks is planning on suing Lana Del Rey and for for technically harassing Azalea, but. Lana Del Rey responded with a smart response saying, okay, we'll tell you, t tell your lawyer that I am actually expecting to see him and that, and that, um, she wasn't really taking it as an offense that Lana was, that Azalea was going after Lana. She did, Azalea just did not take that, per I mean, Lana, Lana, Lana did not take it that personal against Azalea, that Azalea was saying mean things towards, especially suing Lana for what Lana is saying to Azalea, if I'm making any sense to y'all. So, personally, I side with Lana on this one. I mean, Lana, you defend yourself, girl, because mm -mm. Azalea Banks just doesn't seem very nice. Like a very nice person. Now, another thing is that Azalea not only got to feed with Lana Del Rey, but she also got to feed with, Azig Az with Iggy Azalea. Um, she got to blast Iggy because Iggy's tour got cancelled. And then Iggy went back and she said, she said, ooh, well, I see you, um, what's it called, um, sacrificing chickens and all that, and girl, if you need to pay the rent, I could help you with that. She said something like that to, to, um, Azalea after Azalea blasted Iggy for canceling her tour. And I believe that right there was a pretty intense clapback right there, but I think it was actually worth it because, I mean, first of all, ever since Azalea Banks, well, actually, no. Azalea Banks hasn't even released music in years. But let's just say this. 
Azalea Banks, I don't know why she's been feuding a lot with all these artists. I don't know why she's been going after them. I feel like she's only trying to call her attention, in my point of view. Because Azalea Banks, she's no longer heard of. Her music is no longer heard of. So in order to just um, um, call people's attention, she just goes off and feuds with, you know, huge people. Just to call people's attention. And that right there is not a good thing. That is something that should not, you know, be used as in order to just call attention. Because the only thing, the only thing that Azalea Banks is doing is she's just making herself look ridiculous. Let's just be real here. Calling her own attention by feuding with other artists. Now, how about you call attention by making new music and by working your ass like other people have? Let's just be real here. Okay? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Well, from feuds with celebrities, especially on social media, to new releases of music, Ashley Tisdale just confirmed on her social media that she'll be releasing a new single called Voices in My Head, which is the lead single to her upcoming album, which is her third album, and her first album in nearly a decade. She also revealed the cover art where she's wearing a short dress and she's posing while sitting down and she has something around her head. And honestly, I just can't wait for this new single. I really cannot wait. I've been wanting Ashley to release music for years now. And the album, I mean the single, is um, going to be released on November 8th. So technically that's like a month from now. So to all you people that are a huge fan of Ashton Tisdale, you guys are in luck. You guys should be celebrating. Because now the wait is over. We're finally going to get new Ashley Tisdale, Tisdale music. Um, the album is yet to be announced for its release date. Um, but as of now, we are going to get the lead single, Hallelujah. Um, I am sure Ashley Tisdale is going to do really good with this album. But behind this album, Ashley Tisdale has been telling us that the music in this album is pretty personal. It reflects a lot on her times of depression and anxiety that she's gone through. She says that it's also a fun and a, it's an electro pop album, but um, the meaning to this album means a lot to her and she is so excited to release it and she even said it herself that this album is actually pretty good. And it's her deepest album. Um, of her career. So we are definitely going to see what this album has to offer and and what direction Ashley's new music is going to. Um, so So this, this is actually pretty intense news for all of us, um, especially for the Ashley Tisdale um, fans out there that are watching. And Ashley Tisdale, she's been teasing us um, this new music for like maybe two years now. Um, she would post on her Twitter, um, hashtag AT3 is coming, and, um, and then she would post pictures of her in the studio, working on music. I personally, I, I personally was, like, very, very excited and, and quite a shock 
when I first saw Ashley Tuzo back in the studio, when she was um, actually telling us that the music was coming, and and also when I saw, and this was out of a tweet, but I believe someone hacked into Ashley Ashley's um, Twitter like two years ago or a year ago when someone put um, AT3 is coming in this year, 2017 or 2018, someone put that and then Ashley deleted the tweet and then and then um, she posted someone's playing games with like a, an emoji. I don't know if you guys remember that, um, but I do. And I'm not sure but I, if, if it was either a hacker or if it was either a person that post that was close to her that posted that that AT3 was coming that's when I was starting to believe that AT3 was actually coming when when um the tweet was posted but then once um Ashley Tistle deleted it and say that someone was playing games then I was all like hmm well probably the music is coming I still I still didn't lose my hope I was like well maybe it is coming but Ashley just uh, just as didn't want to um confirm anything yet because she because I felt like because I felt like um she wasn't hacked and yet that someone close to her was releasing was um tweeting that just to give us a heads up um so yeah and this album will be the um Her, um, first album in, um, a decade, I just said that, um, and it'll be, um, how do you say it, it'll be, well, I don't know how old you say it, but, this will be her, out. her, this will, this will be her fourth coming album after, her last album, which was, um, Guilty Pleasure, which was released back in 2009, and then her first album, Headstrong, which was released back in 2007, so this will be her forthcoming album after, um, those two albums, and by forthcoming, I mean her upcoming. Not only mean that it's her fourth, because it's her third album. So this will be her upcoming album after Headstrong and Guilty Pleasure, which, by the way, they did decently in the charts and all. Um, so yeah, I cannot wait for new SG to Zone music, and I cannot wait to listen to this new single, which, by the way, my only knowing what the title is, is I'm already knowing that it's a very personal song. So, we'll see what happens and we'll see how this new music gets to um, do once it's released. I hope it gets great responses from the fans. That's my biggest hope. So, yeah. That right there is new music by Ashley Dozel. Well, I've already covered a lot for you guys today, and, um, you know, it was nice chatting with you guys. It was nice, um, revealing with you guys everything that went on yesterday, and everything of what just went on just now. And I'll keep you guys up to date with more stuff of what may happen with, um, you know, Ashley Tizzle's new music, and I'll also keep you guys up to date with, um, um, more stuff that went on at the American Music Awards, um, last night, tomorrow, I believe, and also, I'll keep you guys up to date with more stuff, of course. I am Jose Guzman, and it was nice chatting with you guys. Till next time.